My hair is pink. So today I'm going to be doing a video updating y'all guys about my coral frags and how they're doing ever since I did that coral frag haul video about a month ago. And I'm also going to be showing y'all guys how I feed my corals. I'm pretty sure I've already said y'all like four times and this video is only about 20 seconds long so far. So just, you know, get used to me saying y'all a lot if you're not already, if y'all aren't already. Before I get this video started, let's talk about the big elephant in the room. And no, I did not get a pet elephant, but um, yeah, my hair is pink. Yeah, if y'all can't tell, my hair definitely has some pink in it now. Pretty interesting. I will tell y'all guys later why this has happened, but yes, my hair is pink to be exact. It's actually a rose gold color. In certain lighting, it's way more gold than it is pink, and then in other lighting, it's way more pink than it is gold. It's a very interesting color that I've definitely definitely never had before or really seen before but yeah it's definitely interesting so yeah my hair is my hair is rose gold like the iPhone anyway let's go ahead and get started on how I feed my coral by the way one sec. whoa why is my light on I always do that my light is always on on my phone Always. It's 1.33. It's 1.33 a.m. right now, so yeah, if my lighting looks really weird, it's because it's 1.33 a.m. right now, and I'd rather not have every single light on at 1.33 a.m. Okay, so I use Coral Frenzy, and I've only been using it for like two or three weeks now, but I love it so much. Like, my corals love it so much. Basically, they make a few different kinds. I have all the kinds. I just can't find my third bottle right now, but I'll use it in the video of me feeding them. This is their basic mix. I feel like I'm in a makeup tutorial video right now. And this is the color I'm going to be using on my face. We just like to sprinkle some of that coral food all over the face to really get that full effect. Yeah, but no. This is their basic formula. It's very, it's concentrated. It works for filter feeders, big corals, little corals, all the corals in the world. And then they have these ones that are in bigger pellets, and this is good for those bigger corals or even those small ones that have very noticeable mouths that you can directly deposit the food into. It just makes it easier for them to consume. Oh, I don't know what's been going on with me lately, but I'm seriously turning into... I mean, I've always been a klutz, but it's getting really bad lately. I don't know what's going on with me. It's the pink dye. It's getting in my brain. Let's go ahead and go right into the video and show y'all guys the update of my corals, how they're doing, and how I feed them. Okay, first things first, before I get into how I feed my corals, I wanted to do an update on just all my corals in general. My torch right here has grown a second head. It's very, it's not super noticeable if you haven't seen it, how it looked beforehand, but it's sprouting a second head that way. My Duncan is massive. It won't stop growing heads, just constant. And then here's my other Duncan who's just, he hasn't grown anything. He's always stayed that same size. Exenias started out as just two little Exenias on a Kenya tree coral frag and they took over the frag to the point where the Kenyas jumped off. They like abandoned their rock. So they are growing non-stop constant but that's pretty normal. That's expected of Xenias. They just grow really well. Here we have my frog spawn. He's grown. I've had him for about seven months now but he hasn't done anything like miraculous. This is from the coral frag haul I did a few about a month ago. This is one of my mushrooms. As you can see, he's very large in comparison to how he looked when I got him. So this is what he looks like when he's fully opened. Over here is my Galaxia with one of those nasty pest anemones back there. I need to go ahead and get that one out of here. His little sweeper tentacles come out every night to get food. He's really cool to watch. Here's my Lobo. Again, these two, both the Galaxia and this Lobo were from the coral frag haul. Here's one of my finger leather corals. Definitely not my favorite type of coral in the world, but I took it from my from the store I was working at because it was dying along with this one. They were both in really bad shape, so I went ahead and took them for free from my store. Here are my polys. They are just normal. Right there, there's a filter feeder that lives within that cluster, but he doesn't do any harm, so I just keep him there. I let him let him do his thing. And then there's some frags that I went ahead and kept over here. These guys are normally a lot more open than this, but for some reason right now in this moment, they are a little closed up. But these are my flower pots, both of these, right and left. Out of all of my corals, the only one that is not thriving right now is my Acan right here. As you can see, he is browning on some areas, and that is because I had a rock in my tank shift, and the rock fell on an anemone. I had a rock fall on my sea bay, and it stayed there because I was asleep all night. And I woke up to a dead anemone in my uh, water filled with the toxins that the anemone released. So because of that, um, I did have some ammonia in here and I believe that this ACAN, after that, that's when I started seeing it begin to brown. I believe that the ACAN did suffer from those, that high ammonia spike. This is my green goddess. He's super cute. He's a blasto. I love him. And then there's my other finger leather, but I really like this guy. But yeah, that's an update on all the corals in this tank. 
Um, now I'll go ahead and show you all guys how I feed them all. So the food I'm going to be using for my feeding tutorial today is going to be Coral Frenzy. It's what I've been feeding my corals for about two weeks now and they really seem to like it a lot. So here's the original mix, here are the smaller pellets, and here are the larger pellets. And um, I can use all three in this tank because there's corals that eat all three kinds. So I'm going to be giving him the pellets instead since he does have a big mouth that I can easily put food on. As you can see, he caught a lot of pieces. Well, it's kind of hard to see on the camera, but right here, Jesus, right there is the entry to his mouth. Now he's eating it. And that's how they eat. But as you could see, he moved the pellets close to his mouth and then consumed them. For my mushroom, I'm gonna go ahead and give him the um, concentrated mix. As you can see, the mushroom is reacting to being fed. He's starting to close up so he can absorb that food. The torch, I'm gonna do that concentrated mix. Same with the frog spawn. The Xenias, they're doing fine, but if I wanted to feed them, I could give them some of that concentrated stuff. And that's feeding time for all of the corals, and they all take really well to that food, so I really, really like it. And that's how I feed everyone. So that's how I feed my corals. I'm really sorry you guys if the lighting is really weird. I'm not sure how it's really going to look when I go to edit. Like I said, it's 1.30 so I have a lot of my lights dimmed for the sake of my animals. But yeah, I know I have really bad lighting in that tank. It is a bio cube with its stock lighting and one extra LED and that is it. I really would not recommend putting the kind of corals that I have in that tank in a bio cube with its stock lighting. The only reason I'm doing so is because it's very temporary and they're not going to die very short term, but long term they definitely would not live their full life. If you are going to have a bio cube and want to keep a lot of corals, please upgrade your lighting. All you have to do is take the hood off of the bio cube and get a good light that hangs right over. That's all you gotta do. Thank you all guys for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed watching my coral. I'm gonna be doing a lot more of marine care teep, care teeping? Care teeping. Marine care, what was I trying to say? Marine caretaking, that's what I was trying to say. I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos about marine caretaking and how to take care of salt water and reefs and all that fun stuff, but I'm just, I'm in the process of upgrading my tank right now, so there's just not a lot I can say when I have such a small little crappy tank. I just want to wait until I have a very nice tank to showcase to y'all so I can go through the products and everything and how to take care of everything in a tank that's a lot more complex than this tiny little cube. I'm getting a new freshwater tank tomorrow so on my next day off I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up a freshwater planted tank. I'll be setting it up with you guys. Also set up another little tiny little tiny tank let me show y'all guys so cute it has a lot of fish in there but it's adorable it's all live plants I love that look so much I'm using a blade wave point for my lighting it's really cute and I love it and if y'all guys want to learn how to set up a tank like that I am going to be doing a video setting up a whole tank with you on a 20 gallon that'll be fun so thank you all guys for watching and thank you all guys for subscribing thank you all guys for the 74,000 subscribers I'm at right now it's crazy I don't know how that happened but thank y'all if y'all hate this hair I'll talk about in my next video why my hair is pink because of course that was very unexpected not something I ever planned on happening but thank you all guys Bye!